Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session now we are going to discuss about the domain testing strategy. Whereas in the previous uh, slides we discussed regarding the simplifying topology. Uh, what are the concavities, holes and disconnected pieces of the domains, ambiguities, overlapped domains, all these things. How can we repair it? and how to simplifying the topology and as well as forcing the closer consistency that means uh, putting all the domains in one consistent direction like this instead of this we are making it like this okay so closer domain okay so this is called the closer consistency all these things we have discussed okay now i am going to start the domain testing strategy what is the meaning of the domain testing strategy actually okay so actually the domain testing strategy whatever here we are going to define it is considered as very simple and possibly very slow okay and next domains are defined by their boundaries normally each and every domain can have two different boundaries okay so the domain testing all always concentrates on the test points near the boundaries on or near the boundaries okay so we can uh, classify what can go wrong with the boundaries then define a test strategy for each case whenever there occurs any kind of the wrong in the boundary we can define a test strategy for each and wrong case okay so the domain testing what we can conclude finally is the domain testing obviously always uh, be tested at the end of the boundaries okay so here we have to find out the points which are required uh, and uh, which are used to rectify uh, sorry which are used to identify the boundary errors okay so each and every domain can have multiple number of the points we have to pick up those points to identify the errors okay because every boundary see domain will look like this already we have seen in the one minute previous diagram like this the domain will look like this it is a collection of the points and these are the boundaries okay ends are called as the boundaries and this is the middle of the domain okay so like that we can define because every boundary serves at least two different domains uh, test points use it to check one domain can also use it to check the adjacent domains okay so every boundary serves at least two different domains each and every domain is it to check because it is directly connected with the another domain also for this so every domain is connected at least to two different domains and here we have to find out the checkpoints to check uh, the adjacent domains also if at all we find any kind of the uh, redundant or uh, duplicate points we can remove them okay so run the tests also test and by post test analysis and determine if boundaries are faulty and if so how so we have to find out some certain kind of the test and we have to after testing we have to conduct some kind of the analysis uh, if at all any one of the boundaries are fault if at all these are fault how they are fault why they are fault all these things we have to analyze next <coughs> run enough tests to verify every boundary of every domain we have to run enough tests for every boundary of every domain next one domain bugs and how to test for them what are the various kinds of the domain bugs normally we are having and how to test for them normally we are having multiple number of the points here we are going to discuss the number one is the interior point what is the interior point a point is in the domain such that all the points within an arbitrarily small distance and boundary point the boundary point which lies on that particular domain and extreme point a point does not lie between any two arbitrary points but distinct points are points of a convex domain these are the various kinds of the points that are defined based on the uh, domains okay so inside of the domains outside of the domains on the boundaries like that if we see pictorically then you can easily understand see here these points are defined in a picture number one in point within the boundary within the closer the bound the point is there such kind of the point is called as what interior point okay this is the interior point and next one uh, whenever two domains are conjoining the intercepting point is called as the extreme point and the point which is directly dial, uh, which is directly existing on the boundary that is called as the boundary point and the point which is inside the 
closer domain but it is adjacent to other kind of the points that is called as epsilon neighborhood this is the epsilon neighborhood point so like that we can have multiple number of the points okay and one more thing we have to see the on point and off point also a on point an on point is a point on the boundary if the domain boundary is closed an off point is a pointer near the boundary so whenever the boundary is open the point is on the domain or mm, the point is on the boundary that is called as off point whenever a boundary is closed the off point near the boundary but the adjacent domain that is called as the off point sorry off point okay so if the boundary is open and on point and off point is near to the boundary then the domain is being tested whenever the boundary is open okay and off point is a point near the boundary but in the domain is being tested you can remember this this acronym is there for this to represent these two number of the points that is nothing but c4 i i c o o o i closed off side open off closed off outside open off inside okay so the point is closed off outside and open off inside these are the points the best example of the points on points on point is a point which is on the boundary this one okay so and one more on point is the point directly lies on the boundaries okay this is one more on point okay and this is one more on point that lies on the boundary b okay next what are the off points now off points the points which are adjacent to the boundary this is one more off point this is another off point and this is another off point like that we can clearly differentiate the on points and off points the points which are adjacent are called as off points and the points which are on the domain on the boundary sorry on the boundary those are called as on points okay so what are the generic domain bucks now we are going to see normally okay so we will see some of the generic domain bucks normally here i have listed some of the generic domain bucks in general uh, um, domain testing those are closer bug and next one shifted boundaries and tilted boundaries sorry shifted boundaries and as well as tilted boundaries and as well as extra boundary and the next one is missed boundary we see what are the shifted boundaries the boundaries will look like this these are called as the shifted boundaries one boundary is parallel to another boundary okay so but it is having holes in it and what are the tilted boundaries one boundary is crossing with another boundary but that point is having holes in it and open and closed errors the point is half lying on the boundary half outside half inside on the boundary that is called as open or closed errors and the extra boundaries this is the example of the extra boundaries okay so here the extra boundary is uh, here three three lines are conjoining with each other and here we are having uh, uh, some kind of uh, points are there on the boundary extra boundary this is okay so missing boundary here this boundary is called as the missing boundary some of the boundary points are missing here because it is having holes in it here okay holes in it okay so this is the extra boundary it is having directly the direct point is there but this is not extra here it is missing boundary we can say it is because here it is lying the point but boundary is missing here there is no point but it is coming extra with another point so it is called as extra point but here it is uh, intercepting these two are intercepting one minute these two are intercepting okay so that's why sorry here here intercepting so that's why it is called as the missing boundaries and the boundaries are correct boundaries and incorrect boundaries incorrect boundaries having holes and incomplete and inconsistencies in it whereas correct boundaries are represented as the plain lines like this the generic domain bugs can be represented in the coming video we see how to test the one dimensional domain thank you for watching if the people who didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my cha channel for all the videos of the software testing methodologies thank you for watching